Good morning. I'm so sorry for the crappy lighting. It's because it's dark outside. So yeah, it's not doing me favours. I have work today. In the morning I'm on the elective cesarean list. So I tried to get in like 15 minutes before my consultant so that I can consent the patients for the procedure. Um, in our hospital, the elective caesareans are usually done by a consultant and a junior trainee like myself or by a senior registrar and a junior trainee like myself um, and that is so that we have an opportunity to first start by being the assistant and then becoming the surgeon in the procedure. So we'll have like two or three cases a day um, in the morning and um, yeah we'll usually finish by like one o'clock and then in the afternoon we'll have something different scheduled so it could be like we're working in the clinic seeing patients in the outpatient clinic in antenatal or gynecology we could be covering the maternity triage which is a bit like a &E. um we could be covering the, med uh, the maternity day unit which is a bit like an what can i call it the equivalent of like an ambulatory care almost where we need to monitor and follow up um, pregnant ladies with like regular scans and have someone review them or blood pressure etc so there's a lot to do in obstetrics and gynecology and i absolutely love it i really need to buy myself a new concealer because this one is honestly finished and has been for ages and whenever i go out i all either haven't been shopping in ages or I forget when I do go. So I need to get myself one. This is my literally five minute makeup routine for work. I don't think I need anything much heavier than this. I like something just light and fresh to keep me looking presentable. Ooh, the dog's awake. This is my finished makeup. I have three hairbands, by the way, because when I get to work, I need three hairbands to help tie my hair up securely under our surgical hats. But anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs and make a coffee, and then we're gonna go.
Today's Sunday and I've come to Portobello Road for some lunch with one of my friends. We're going to a restaurant called Zephyr. Let me take my glasses off actually. Oh, I've got one of those glasses marks. Um, we're going to a restaurant called Zephyr um, in Notting Hill and I've just parked up and guys I've realised I don't think I've ever come to Notting Hill. Like as in I've been to the area to go to the cinema at night time and also one of my friends lives around here so I've come to see her but I don't think I've actually come to Portobello Road Market or anything and these houses are so cute and colourful so I want to show you guys because I've got here a bit early I want to show you guys the streets here because it's so sweet um but wow like it's so amazing when you live in a city all your life and it still manages to surprise you. <laughs> It looks like a lot of the shops here are like antique and jewellery stores and like vintage clothing so maybe that's why I've not been because I'm not I'm not a huge like antique or vintage clothing shopper but there's loads of tourists here as well. Obviously I've heard about Portola Road Market but yeah I didn't know what it was famous for. Honestly, this place is so cool. If anyone loves antiquing or vintage stuff, come here because there is plenty. I'm so pissed right now. <laughs> I'm not pissed. Yeah. You're a bit pissed. Why? That I've whipped out the camera on you. <laughs> Literally, just before she pulled the camera out, I said, I'm not wearing any makeup, is that okay? And she said, yeah. And then she pulled her camera Literally out. Literally just put the camera out. Um, I had a nap after that lunch. It was lovely. I really enjoyed it. It was nice quality Greek food. So if you guys are in that area, then check out Notting Hill and Zephyr. Have you bought slippers? No, you said you were going to give me some. I'll go and get some. We're going to go to the gym now. We're going to have a workout. And then afterwards, we're going to go to the spa. I'm excited. Apparently, just 15 minutes, a couple of times a week in the sauna is meant to really elevate the mood. Not just that. I've heard it's really good in general for your health, like physical mm. and mental health. So I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Okay. <laughs> I'm so tired. Sol and I went to the gym and we went to the sauna afterwards and safe to say really took it out of me. I didn't wash my hair, I just washed my body. Um, I think I'm just gonna wash my hair when I wake up in the morning because I was not in the mood to wash my hair at the gym. I don't really love washing my hair at the gym. I used to do it uh, last year when I used to start work at 9am. I would be able to go gym before work. I'd go to a blaze class and then I would like wash my hair after. But 
usually I don't really like to wash my hair at the gym. It's just so much more effort to dry it there and using their hair dryers and stuff like that. I've had my dinner since the gym and I'm now going to get into bed. Also, this is such a random breakout, but like I've never had a spot this close to like my under eye. Um, I don't know what it is. I think maybe just hormones. Anyway, side tracking. I'm going to get into bed now and do some revision. I've got some Harvard work to do and I've got to read up just some obs and gyne textbooks. Any of my followers here who are medics or like doctors from the UK, medical students, etc. The BMJ has a huge online library that is, sorry, the BMA has a huge online library that is completely free. And I discovered this because they sent out an email like um, three months ago or something about this library that they have. And I was like, oh, like, let me just have a look. And I looked and it's all the textbooks that I need for obs and gynea on there. So they even have like the Oxford handbook, um, which I used to use in medical school. So like the Oxford handbook for obs and gynea is on there, for example, but there's all the ones for medical specialties, etc. So really useful for med students. I don't know if you get the access if you're a med student, but you definitely get the free access if you're a doctor. But I think it's for all BMA members. So that's really useful for all of my followers who are medics. But yeah, I'm just going to be reading some things from that and yeah, just getting on with some work and hopefully going to bed in the next hour or so. Tomorrow I'm on elective cesarean sections in the morning and I think I'm on clinics in the afternoon. So I'm excited. So I'm going to close this video out. I hope that you enjoyed this week's vlog. If you did, don't forget to leave me a comment and please give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far. It would mean so, so much to me. Write in the comments down below what else more you'd like to see as well. And I can film that for you. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.